Hi everybody, Stephanie Kraft here. So today I wanna to talk about something new. Whenever I find something that has been really helpful to me or that I really like, I have been tending to share it on my channel. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna to talk about the mushroom called Amanita muscaria. And this is something that I didn't know about until very recently. The back story is that I was on Facebook in September, and this is, so today is December 27th, 2021. And so just about like three months ago, I was on Facebook and all of a sudden that day, uh, everything was just about mushrooms. Like I was just seeing pictures and posts, just the whole thing, just scrolling and just mushrooms. So I was like, okay, I'm paying attention. I'm, this message is for me and I'm getting it. And that was happening day after day. It just was, I was being bombarded by the mushrooms. <laughs> just like, okay. So I paid attention. It was definitely something like metaphysical happening here and someone was trying to give me a message. And so I went ahead and asked a friend, a friend of mine posted something about microdosing with these mushrooms. And I said, where did you buy them? Where do you buy them? And she sent me the link. The link was, is um, Reindeer Amanita. And that was the website <clears throat> that I ordered from. So it's called Reindeer Amanita. I have nothing to do with that website or the man who runs it. His name is Adam Lewington. He doesn't even know I'm making this video, but I'll probably share it with him after because um, he's, I'm in a group of that he runs. But anyway, um, so, okay. So that was September. I ordered them. I had no idea what I was doing. I'll talk about what I ordered and what I've been doing after I talk about what it's been doing for me. So he, the man, Adam, who runs the company, he is Australian and he lives in Lithuania and he gathers, he has people who gather them for him too, that um, the mushrooms in the forest there, <clears throat> and then he dries them out. By the way, if you've never heard of Amanita muscaria, you've definitely seen them. So they're the bright red mushroom with the white spots. And I have some here to show you, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. This is like a big mushroom cap. But, you know, if you've seen um, Alice in Wonderland, you know, she, they she's even on like the promo picture of that movie that she's sitting on the Amanita mushroom. So it's that red one with the white caps. You've seen it in like all the cartoons, Mario Brothers, just everywhere. So anyway, um, so I ordered them. They took four weeks to get here. I live in Northern Virginia. And from what I'm seeing around the, around the, um, like the group pe people who order from the United States it usually takes about four weeks. But anyway, they're illegal in Australia and then maybe a couple other countries in the world, but which you can just look that up. I don't know the details, but it's, they are legal almost everywhere. Um, there's nothing illegal about having them, eating them. The only thing is that you, um, in order to sell them, you can only sell them for external use, like topical use. So you might see that on the website for, um, you know, not for internal use, but that's just a legality. Of course, they're meant to be ingested. Now, I'm not somebody who's ever had anything like drugs or I don't, I haven't had alcohol in like 20 years. So um, the I'm not, I wasn't looking for any experience. I wasn't looking to feel anything from it. I was only looking to microdose. Microdosing means you don't feel anything when you take it. You're taking such a small quantity, but that it does affect change within you. So I'm going to talk about that first. And then I'll talk about like what I ordered, how I take it and how much and stuff. I'm not an expert. I'm new to this. I didn't know anything about it. Um, when I, even like when, after I got the messages of mushrooms and I decided to order when I was on the website, I still didn't know what I was doing. And I just ordered a couple different things, but anyway, um, micro dosing for me, well, for everybody would be like taking this, this is the powder actually the it's vacuum sealed in this 
um, plastic pack. This is just like pulverized caps. I'll talk about that too. Anyway, let me just talk about how I've been feeling and then about what I take. So uh, I started microdosing when I got them, but not every day, nothing regular. But I would say that the changes that I have felt in myself have been truly miraculous. Um, where do I begin? <laughs> so it's like any negative thing that has ever happened to me or any trauma. I had a lot of trauma in my life. Um, anything I've ever experienced that was traumatic or bad or negative that affected me, it has cleared. It's as if I was plucked out of the body of that Stephanie who experienced all of those things, completely removed. And now I am the person that I've always meant been meant to be so I feel like I have returned to my true essence like I am all that I am I am truly Stephanie <laughs> I am truly my essence there's nothing extra so it's like there if let's just say for example not that I had all of these things but I'm just going to throw words out there that people commonly have and maybe I had like shades of a few of them right just take let's say shame um loneliness depression anxiety procrastination lethargy you know fatigue uh any uh, sadness any irritability anger anything you can think of right even if I had like small amounts here and there of any of those things, they're all gone. Like I have not, none of that anymore, nothing. And it's as if I have been plugged into a socket of creativity. Like someone plugged me into <laughs> a creative charge and all, all I'm doing now is creating every day from the moment I wake up until the moment I go to bed. So now this is a phase. I don't expect this to last my entire life. I have no idea. I'm just sharing what I feel. And the only difference is this mushroom here that I've been having, the Amanita muscaria. So what I, I wanna talk a little bit about like what I'm doing so that I can plug my other website because I would like you to know about it. So I have a website called Radiant Sun Botanicals and I make, natural body care products. And because I'm an energy healer and I have a special gift that's very powerful, that does help people a lot. I infuse my products with my energy healing. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a lot of new products, like, a t like probably 30 to 50 new products right now. And it's a lot, but I want you, if you're interested to go to radiantsunbotanicals.com and Sign up for the newsletter because within the next few weeks to a few months, I'm going to be launching these new products and then you will hear about them. I barely ever send out a newsletter like a couple times a year. So very rarely. Now with the new products, I will probably be sending more to, to it, um, announce the products. Um, but anyway, that I just wanted to say, because that explains to explain like what creative things I'm doing. So I'm really working hard on that. And, but before the Amanita, I wasn't doing anything. And with my life, like I was, I was bored and my life felt empty and I was still doing all the same things that I've always done. And I still do my practice, hypnotherapy, energy healing. I work with twin flames all around the world. And I absolutely love my work and I'm still doing that but there was nothing new and that business has dwindled a little bit. So yes, I'm still open for business. Please, you know, go to my website, stephaniecraft.com and book a session if you're interested. I'm not making this video to promote my work, but I do want to explain it's all in the context of my life, right? So what has changed since I started microdosing uh, with Amanita muscaria is that 
I'm, I'm very creative. I'm very motivated. I'm very productive. Like my productivity is at a hundred percent. It can't be any more than it is. I'm, I'm, and I'm so happy. Like I, I probably have never been happier in my life. And the happiness is internal. Nothing external has changed. I am actually a person I, that spends, I spend my, I, about a hundred percent of my time alone. So I'm not really exaggerating. The only time I see people is when I have a client in person, but most of my clients are on the phone. And so and yes, I have a 16 year old son, but he's very much on his own. Like we don't even interact that much because he doesn't really need me for much. So, and he's, you know, whatever, he, he's a very independent person. And so even though he lives here some of the time, you know, part of the time with his dad too, I don't have that much interaction with people. So this shift in myself has nothing to do with anything in the external world changing. I'm still alone. And I used to, I've always loved my alone time. Absolutely love my alone time. Still do. I need it. Um, but I used to be sad throughout my life about not having a partner. And that sadness is 100% gone to the point where I don't really want that in my life. I don't really need that. Um, and that has dramatically changed that that feeling. So I feel complete, whole. I feel actually so spiritually connected. I feel like every moment of my life, I'm not alone and I'm guided. I feel like a spiritual team. I don't know if it's my soul family, my, I feel my ancestors uh, a lot. I, I'm feeling supported and guided. So even though I'm alone all the time, I don't feel alone at all. And I feel like everything is fun. Everything I'm doing is fun. I'm entertained. I'm happy. And like, it's, it's, it's hard to put into words how great I feel. Uh, my energy is so good. I've never, I don't, I never need to take a nap. I'm like, my energy's okay. So let's talk about what <laughs> Amanita does. Um, it, it, oh, oh, there's so much to talk about here. So they say to ask the spirit of Amanita, you know, for what you want when you're taking them. And she, the spirit, it's a feminine spirit. She actually visited me after I ordered them and they were still in Lithuania. And like I said, they took four weeks to get here, but her, the spirit actually came to me and before I ever got them. It, and I feel like that spirit has been working with me in truly miraculous ways. And so when you take it, you ask for what you want. And I said to it, heal my inner child. And I mean, I can't even explain the experiences that I've had, that I had in the beginning that are very difficult to describe, but we let's just call them healing experiences, very subtle, uh, maybe your dreams will be very vivid. And I always have very vivid dreams. So that continued, um, but, but other people might have more vivid dreams. Um, but a lot of things happened. Um, I will say that not big things, you know, I'm not, I, I, I sound like big things happen. I said, but it's not like that. Um, in the very beginning, when I said, to the, to the Amanita when the first time I took it, you know, heal my inner child. I had some, I don't remember very well, but, um, maybe epiphanies, uh, or the healings that were taking place within me were noticeable. Like I was noticing things, but only for like a couple of days, just very subtly thing. And then, and then I wasn't very regular about taking it. You don't have to be, um, I think it's an adaptogen. I think that you're, you, or maybe it's not an adaptogen, but you adapt or adjust to it. So, you know, you may not want to take it every day. You may want to take breaks, for example. Maybe you would take it like every day for a week or two and then take break. I don't know. You don't follow anything I say because I'm new at this, but you can do your research. There's a really wonderful place to do research. And that website is called Amanita Dreamer. Dot net, I think, and her, this woman, Amanita Dreamer, she makes the videos, she makes a ton of videos explaining everything you would ever want to know about it, how to take it, everything. 
Um, I have only watched a few of her videos, but I know she has a lot and they're very good from everything I've seen. And Adam Lewington, the one who owns Reindeer Amanita, he has videos too. So look him up, look him up on YouTube um, and look up his website. So anyway, um, so yeah, I wasn't regular about it. And okay, so someone said, since I didn't know what I was doing at all, you know, I would read every comment everywhere. I would take screenshots, like, you know, how do you take it? What do you do? I was just learning along the way. Somebody said, you can take one, you can eat one cap. Like that's microdosing. So after only doing, having a little bit, a couple of days, I was like, oh, you can eat one cap. So I ate one cap, which don't do that. I mean, I don't, rem I don't recommend that because Listen, everybody is different. Every single mushroom is different. Every, nobody can know how much, um, so here's a little one, right? And here's a big one, they're, they're dried. And nobody can tell you how much ibotenic acid is in a mushroom. They all vary in size, color. Some are darker, some are lighter. Um, this is like a huge half of one. Look at the comparison in size to like a small one, whole, small, and this is just a half. Um, so from each mushroom to mushroom, they vary in ibotenic acid content and nobody can tell how much is in each cap. And like I said, the size of it does not matter. The color does not matter. None of that matters. They're all very, they vary so much. So when you're having one, not even one, I don't eat a whole one. Um, you don't, you don't know what you're going to get in each one anyway, but this is the powder. So he vacuum seals it in this bag and you can order either the caps, dried caps or the powder or a tincture. I don't have the tincture because he just came out with that one and I had ordered mine already. Um, you know, I had ordered these two things already. So to microdose, you would do a half a teaspoon of the powder. You would, it's one gram. You can weigh it um, or you can just do half a teaspoon and so you put the half a teaspoon in a cup, like a mug, cause you're gonna make a tea. Just put half a teaspoon of the powder in the cup, pour lemon juice on top of it, you know, saturate it with the lemon juice, wait 10 minutes. What you're doing is you're converting the ibotenic acid in the mushrooms into muscimol. The ibotenic acid is what, you, what would make you feel sick, like, like a stomach ache or vomiting or whatever. It's like a toxin. So you want the muscimol. So in order to convert ibotenic acid to muscimol, you would either get the, um, you can go into the forest and pick your mushrooms, your, your mus Amanita muscaria mushrooms in the forest, right? And, but you don't wanna eat them raw because then that's toxic and you would be having the ibotenic acid. But what you would do is you would dry it out. You can leave them out to dry for like weeks or however long it takes. I don't even know because I don't do it myself or you can put them in a dehydrator, but Adam um, dries them first and then mails them to you. So they're like in a bag. And I just brought some from my bag that these are like more whole, but really the, the bag is full of like, you know, ones that are broken up into pieces. So it's not all gonna be, you know, big, whole mushrooms like this. I just picked them out of the bag that were more whole to show you, but in the bag, like I said, they're all like, you know, crump ripped up or crumpled. So they're, they break apart easily. Um, you can just rip these mushrooms, you know, break off a piece very easily because they're dried. Right. So anyway, uh, I'll talk about how I take the dried ones, uh, the whole caps, but first let's talk about the powder for a second. So because from mushroom to mushroom, you don't know how much ibotenic acid is in each one. To make the powder, he takes a whole bunch of mushroom caps, dried, and then pulverizes them into the powder. So that with the powder, you're actually getting a, um, a distribution, more equal 
you know, balanced distribution of the ibotenic acid, which is now muscimol because it's converted into muscimol when it's dried. So when you take the powder, it doesn't, it's going to be pretty stable from day to day versus from one mushroom to another that you don't know, you know, which is fine because you're only having a small amount per day for, to microdose. So back to taking the tea, put a half a teaspoon in the cup, pour lemon juice onto it. You're converting the musk, the ibotenic acid into muscimol by with the lemon juice. Lemon juice is converting that. I did say that dried, it has been converted, but you're you're wanting to make sure, and you're wanting to convert it all the way fully into muscimol. That's why you do the lemon juice with the powder. Wait 10 minutes while it soaks in your lemon juice, heat up some water. After 10 minutes, um, pour water, but not boiling. Don't let the water be boiling. Just let the water be hot. Pour hot water over your lemon juice and, and powdered mushrooms. Fill your cup with the hot water wait 10 minutes and then drink it. And you can drink the little, you know, the mushroom bits. There's gonna be obviously half a teaspoon of mushroom um, bits in your cup. You can just drink the whole thing. Um, it tastes totally fine. It tastes good. I tend to put honey in mine just cause it take, makes it even more delicious, but you don't have to, and it's totally tolerable and fine with that. Now for the caps, yeah. No, um, you know, not to discredit Adam in any way because I'm not, but when I got them, they didn't feel like completely, completely dry. They were, and he even says they're like a certain percentage dry, like 60%. I don't know what he says, but you, he says something about that, but I was like, okay, well, if they're supposed to be dried, I, I want them to be really dried. So what I've done be, is I'll just take out a couple from the bag and let's, I'll show you exactly what I do. So for me, for microdosing, and everybody's different, I'll talk about that in a second. For, I found out for me, I'm very sensitive and I only need a little bit. What I do is I take the cap or pieces, right? But if it's a whole one, I'll rip it into eighths. So this is half, and then this is a fourth, and then this is an eighth, right? I just ripped it into triangles that are eighths. And then this is like the fourth, and then I rip it into two more triangles. This is the half rip it once and then I rip it again. So I make sure that I'm tearing the, the each mushroom into eighths. For me personally, I don't know what you're gonna do because your body responds differently. This is what I found. So I'll take these triangles <laughs> of mushroom caps that I've ripped into eighths and I just place them on like a napkin um, out on a table. And since it's winter time, the heat's on, it's they dry really, Fat, you know, nicely. So my point is I'm drying them a little bit more um, than how I received them. And they like these, this is how I received them. You can tell they're dry. I just wanted to dry them a little bit more because I, to be extra careful that I'm getting just the muscimol, which is what I want. So I let them sit out like on a napkin for like a, a I don't even count. I don't know. I just, I'm not really paying attention so much to what I'm doing. I'm not you don't have, you know, do it however you want, but basically a couple of days or a week, I, I'll leave it out. And then I'll, when I'm ready to eat one, I'll just take one eighth and I just eat it. And it's delicious actually. So um, for me, a micro dose, okay, this is what I do is take one eighth of a cap and just eat it. And I've been doing that at night, not every night, but whenever, sometimes. And sometimes I've had two. Yes, I've bumped it up and been like, I think I can handle two, you know, little triangles. So that would be a fourth of a cap. And like I said, every cap is going to be different. So you're going to notice maybe, I don't know, but what it does for me, well, what it, what it's supposed to do for people, let's say if you take it at night and you can do the tea at night too, like it doesn't matter when you do, when you order, you can order just the powder just the caps or just the tincture. If you get the tincture, you just do one drop. That's a microdose. That might be the easiest thing. You don't have to think about anything. You get the tincture, you just take your one drop and you're done. But in general, when you're doing taking Amanita, if you take it in the morning, it's going to give you really just normal energy throughout the day. Like you won't feel anything. It's not like caffeine. You actually don't feel anything if you're microdosing, but you will 
feel good. You'll be happy. You'll be very productive. If you used to feel like, I don't feel like doing the laundry. I don't want to, I'm procrastinating. I just don't feel like it. That will be gone. You just look at the laundry and you'll say, you know what? I'm going to do the laundry. Let me just put it in. Let me fold it. Like you're just going to do what you need to do. And you're not going to have like that resistance or that fatigue or any negative, you know, thoughts. You're just going to be who you, for me, I can only speak from my own experience. You're just going to be who you feel like you've always meant to been meant to be. However you would say that in English. (laughs) Sometimes my English is not so good. Um, And you're just going to be that person, your full true essence and do the things that you're supposed to do and feel good about it. (laughs) You know, like it sounds so simple and it is simple. Um, So if so, again, take it in the morning, you're going to, it's going to make you productive and have good energy throughout the day. Again, you won't feel like you took anything. If you take it at night, it's going to help you sleep. And it might give you like vivid dreams, but this, the sleeping part is so great because you have a, a complete full deep night sleep, completely well rested. You don't wake up in the middle of the night. Most for the most part, you know, you get your full amount. And that is what I have found like amazing, amazing, wonderful sleep and just feeling so good. Again, you don't feel like you took anything now. Okay. So I, um, what happened was in the very beginning I had taken, I, I had done it a couple of times. Like I didn't know what I was doing. I like had a little bit of the cap. And then one day, a couple of days into it, somebody, I read a comment somewhere that said for microdosing, you can eat a whole cap. And I was like, Oh, okay. I'm microdosing. So I'll eat a cap. And I ate a big cap. Like, I don't think it was this big. It was like almost this big though. I remember I ate the whole thing at night. And that was not good. (laughs) It was not good. I won't say that it was a bad experience, but I didn't want to have an experience. I didn't want to feel anything. I just wanted to do what was right for me for microdosing to heal everything. My intention for doing, I mean, it was just just heal everything, anything that I have, that I've ever had in my body and my mind and my emotions, spiritually, just heal it all. And, and but I didn't want to go overboard. But that night, um, I did wake up in the middle of the night, a couple hours later, you know, after I went to bed, I was sweating and it was, I, it was an intense feeling. I didn't really like it. It took a few hours to go away and it wasn't a bad experience, but it was dramatic. I'll say it was dramatic. Okay. It was some memorable. I, I don't, anyway, So I wouldn't recommend, well, look, there's a protocol out there for like micro dosing for, I think it's like six six days and then like waiting two days and then taking a bigger amount to have an experience, whatever that might be, whatever whatever that protocol is. I wasn't planning on that. I'm still not planning on that. I don't know if I'll ever take more than a micro dose. I have no idea. It's not my intention. I'm not planning on it, but I will say that whoever wrote that comment about you can eat a whole cap, that's because that person is not affected in the same way that I am by eating that much of it. I learned, okay, because that happened to me when I ate one whole cap, now that's when I started ripping them up into the eights. I was like, I never want to do go through that again. It wasn't bad. I'm just saying it was, it was intense, but, um, I don't want that to happen again. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take like the littlest amount of it. Obviously it's not the littlest amount, but a very tiny amount of a cap. Um, And guess what? For me, that has been so perfect. It's been so wonderful. Now for you, it might be completely different and it's going to be up to you and your body and whatever you choose to do. Like I said, I feel like I've, it's been a very com- comfort zone place to have like one. So then sometimes I'm like, all right, I think I can handle two. So I've had like the two, you know, but not more than that. I have not gone more than that for the powder. I've only ever done a half teaspoon that feels that works out really well for me because I haven't had any experiences, right? I haven't had any noticeable effects of feeling like I took anything, which is what I want. I don't want to feel anything, but I have had the profound changes in my life. I feel 
<laughs> like everything has been healed, anything and everything. Um, it's just amazing. It's, it's just amazing. I feel so good. I feel so happy. So let's see, is there anything else to talk about with the Amanita? I, I think that's it. I, I, um, you know, I would, if I were you, I would go try to find Adam Lewington's, um, videos because he explains how this is, this mushroom is in the Bible a lot. Like, I don't know how to explain it, how it's, how it is explained. I'm, I don't know how to talk about it, but he, I've listened to his videos a few times and it's so fascinating. So I think they're just showing, you know, how this, this mushroom is everywhere, right? Like cartoons. I mean, it's just in our faces all over the place. It's even in, in like biblical artwork, like uh, religious art, you'll see that it, and he'll show you pictures in his videos of that. But you've come to find out this is this this mushroom is everywhere, and it's meant to be. I think it's meant to be eaten. You know, it's a, it's meant to be explored, and it is for I think for healing everything and really spiritual um, healing and connection. So I don't know. I feel like there I there was more I was going to talk about. I don't remember, but I um, just winged it right. And I just love these, should I eat one now? No, I don't, I'm not, I haven't had any of this for a couple of days. I'm not having any today. I don't do any protocol. I just feel like intuitively, let's just take a break. I took it like probably every day for a little while. Now I'm going to not take it for like a while um, just to make sure my body isn't adapting too much to it to, you know, to maintain whatever, you know. I have crumbs of mushrooms everywhere here. So I hope this has been helpful. If you don't, you know, I'm not going to say if you have any questions, ask me because I'm not an expert, but go to Amanita Dreamer, her website, go to uh, Reindeer Amanita, his website, and then go on YouTube, watch videos um, and see if it's something that you would like to try. I mean, I'm making this video to tell you that it's been profound for me. And I feel like this mushroom will find its way to whoever is ready for it. You know, that's what happened to me. It, I was bombarded with it. It was sent to me. My soul brought it to me. I am sure of that. And I'm sharing it with you, just that little bit of information and that's it. So I hope everybody has a happy 2022. It's right around the corner and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.